Tom Cruise is one of the world's highest paid actors. He's incredibly successful and has had a wild ride in Hollywood, but his connections to Scientology and erratic behavior is concerning. Tom is the third highest member of the Scientology religion, and his goal is to spread the message to everyone. This man doesn't even have a relationship with his own daughter because he chose this cult. So let's get into it. So this past year, I've realized how important it is to invest in self-care. So I decided to switch to an aluminum-free and paraben-free deodorant. I actually prefer using native deodorant over conventional deodorants because it makes me feel great. Personally, I sweat a lot when I'm out and about, but native's vegan and cruelty-free deodorant does the job. You guys can try it out and use my code SL04N for an awesome discount. The deodorant I received are lavender and rose, which has a fresh and clean smell, earl grey and mulberry, which is more of a manly scent. And then finally, sea salt and cedar, which is my favorite of them all and it goes great with my cologne. You guys need to try out Native's deodorants. You can get three deodorants from Native for $39, but if you use my code, you will get over 33% off. That's $26 for all three. So use my code SL04N and check out Native's body wash and toothpaste. Thank you Native for sponsoring this video and enjoy. So Tom Cruise has been in the industry for a very long time and he's probably starred in some of your favorite movies. But I want to start off by talking about a tape that leaked in 2008 and it was a video where he was promoting Scientology. <laughs> I think it's a privilege to call yourself a Scientologist, and it's something that you have to earn. And because a Scientologist does, he or she has the ability to create new and better realities and improve conditions. This video is bizarre. It's kind of like an infomercial mixed with an action movie, and you can see how dedicated Tom is to Scientology. If you guys don't know what Scientology is, it is a set of beliefs and practices invented by an American author. His name is L. Ron Hubbard. This religion has been described as a cult, a business, or a new religious movement. Tom was actually introduced to Scientology at the young age of 23 and now he's one of the top members but it's not like tom was just gifted this leadership role you have to work for it you have to study you have to go to classes you need to learn scripture you need to donate a ton of your money to the church and then you reach that level so for me it really is ksw and it's just like it's it's something that uh i don't mince words with that you know with, with anything LRH does, but that policy to me has really gone, boy. And every, and I, I, there's a time I went through and I said, you know what? When I read it, I, you know, I just went, this is it. What Tom is describing there is the keeping Scientology working policy, which is pretty much the Bible of the Scientology movement. And he uses a bunch of acronyms in this video to describe the work that they do, because it seems like they try to overcomplicate things, which keeps everyone confused. And Tom isn't shy about his love for Scientology. In this next clip, you're gonna hear him describe a practice done in Scientology, and it's called put ethics in on someone else, which pretty much is a rule of Scientology to try to force other people to conform to their way of living. Because I won't hesitate to put ethics in on someone else, you know, because I put it ruthlessly in on myself. And I think that uh, I respect that in, in others. And, uh, you know, I'm there to help and we're here to help. And my opinion is, is that look, you're either on board or you're not on board. 
You heard the man. He said he is ruthless and he's going to push everyone into Scientology because he's heavily brainwashed. There are actually rumors that other celebrities avoid Tom Cruise at all costs because he will encourage them to convert to Scientology, which you can't really have a genuine friendship with this man if all he ever talks about and thinks about is this religion. As I mentioned earlier, Scientology has a bunch of acronyms and the religion, I guess, to again, confuse everybody. And you're going to hear Tom talk about SPs in this next clip. And this was the most concerning clip to me because an SP is a suppressive person, anyone that doesn't like Scientology and or criticizes Scientology. So you're going to hear him describe a world where people open up their books, their textbooks, history books, whatever, and they see that, oh, there was once SPs in the world. Like who would have ever doubted Scientology? And he is so into this like religion situation, like brainwashed cult vibes that you can tell that he really does believe this. <laughs> and uh, I went, you know, she, they said, so like, have you met an SP? <laughs> <laughs> And I looked at him, <laughs> you know, and I thought, oh, what a beautiful thing, because maybe one day it'll be like that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe one day it will be that. Wow, SPs, like, they'll just read about those in the history books, you know? <laughs> That video is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen on the internet. But now I want to shift gears a little bit and talk about Tom Cruise's 2005 interview on The Oprah Show because at this point in his life, he was in love with Katie Holmes and he wasn't shy about it. And you can tell throughout the interview, he had a lot of energy. What has happened to you? <laughs> to you something happened to you i'm in love so tom ran on stage and he was already doing the most i mean he was just so excited about his love with katie holmes that he couldn't hold it in and even oprah was taken back by his behavior never seen you like that i've never seen that i know we've never seen you behave this way before i know have you ever felt this way before? You guys saw Oprah's face. She was like, you are gone. Like, what is going on here, sir? And there were multiple times where he was jumping onto the couch and she was just blown away. Because Tom and Katie divorced, Katie's relationship with Scientology was pretty much over. And when a kid is involved, they're either fully involved in Scientology or they're not at all. So Tom is now estranged to his daughter, Suri, because she's with Katie. And it all goes back to his relationship with the church and Scientology, which if you think about Tom Cruise, like he's such a like rich guy like you can't go and have any relationship with your kid and go and fly and visit them like i can't imagine living with myself and as i briefly mentioned earlier it looks like scientology is also responsible for tom cruise's divorce with nicole kidman supposedly the church tried to end tom's marriage with nicole which is really bizarre to think about a church getting involved in your personal life but that's how scientology works the Church of Scientology was never keen on Nicole Kidman as they worried that she was stealing their high profile member and didn't agree with her or her family's choices. Nicole was able to go up in the ranks of Scientology, but they still didn't really respect her and they did not like her father because he worked as a psychiatrist and Scientology is really against like psychiatry and medication for, you know, mental health issues or 
whatever you may be taking, they are totally against it. And they were trying to separate and isolate her from her family, which wasn't working for Nicole. Thankfully, Nicole got out of that relationship with Tom because he would have never accepted her father as a psychiatrist. And you can tell because in an interview in 2005 on the Today Show with Matt Lawler, Lawler, I can never say Matt Lawyer, Matt Lawyer, Lawyer. Well, if you guys want me to make a video about Matt, you know, I definitely can because he's a creep and you guys know what happened there. But in this interview, they talk a little bit about Brooke Shields because at the time she admitted to using antidepressants to medicate from postpartum depression. And Tom Cruise doesn't like that. So he speaks out against that type of treatment. And it was a very tense and bizarre interview. Here we are today where I talk out against drugs of drugging children with them not knowing the effects of these drugs. Do you know what Adderall is? Do you know Ritalin? Do you know now that Ritalin is a street drug? Do you understand that? The difference is no, this was no, not Matt, against Matt, her I'm will, ask, though. Matt, but this Matt, wasn't against your question. Will. Matt, I'm asking you a question. I understand Do, there's no. a of all of these things. No, you see, here's the problem. You don't know the history of psychiatry. I do. You don't know the history of psychiatry. I do. And that's the type of ego I feel like Scientology gives you, especially when you're like a leader of some church and it's just like, it's probably all gone to his head. But when they speak about Brooke Shields, it's kind of upsetting because it seems like he's just dismissing her whole situation. While I do agree with some things that he says, I mean, you know, medication doesn't fix everything. Um, it's all situational. And you can tell that he's got some type of narrative that he's pushing here. Aren't there examples, and might not Brooke Shields be an example of someone who benefited from one of those drugs? All it does is mask the problem, Matt. And if you understand the history of it, it masks the problem. That's what it does. That's all it does. You're not getting to the reason why. There is no such thing as a chemical imbalance. So in postpartum a body. depression to you is, is Matt, kind of a little psychological goog gobbledygook no, what would you no, call it abs that matt that is the post now now you're talking about two different things but that's what she went on the no. antidepressant for but what happens the antidepressant all it does is mask the problem there's ways of vitamins and through exercise and various things i'm not saying that that isn't real that's not what i'm saying that's an alteration of what what i'm saying i'm saying that drugs aren't the answer that these these drugs are very dangerous they're mind altering antipsychotic drugs and there are ways of doing it without that so that we don't end up in a brave new world. The thing that I'm saying about Brooke is that there's misinformation, okay? And she doesn't understand the history of psychiatry. She, the, she doesn't understand in the same way that you don't understand it, man. But a little bit what you're saying, Tom, is you say you want people to do well, but you want them to do well by taking the road that you approve of, as opposed to a road that may work for them. No. No, I'm not. Well, if, if anti depressants work for Brooke Shields, why isn't that okay? I, I disagree with it. It's clear that Tom has some very specific beliefs and he's standing firm in them. But what's weird about this interview and other interviews is that he doesn't bring up Scientology because this belief about psychiatry is really rooted in Scientology, but he's not associating it with it, which I find fascinating. But it might make sense because Scientology doesn't really like when their members speak about the church itself. This article claims that Tom never speaks about Scientology because it would cost him money. It's supposedly a hundred thousand dollars anytime anyone reveals anything about Scientology's teachings and beliefs to people outside the organization. And it's punishable to tell your spouse, family, or any lower ranking Scientologist of this information or I guess about the church. So it makes sense that he doesn't speak uh, on the church itself because it's really against the rules and he's so dedicated to this cult. And that's what's sad about this religion and cults in general is that they isolate you from the rest of the world, from your family, from your friends, and you're really just living your life through this church. A source said that Tom doesn't have that many close friends and he certainly doesn't trust Trust many people. Some say that all of his celebrity friendships are phony. I mean, it would make sense to me if his like celebrity friendships are fake because I wouldn't want to be associated with Scientology and I don't think like a lot of other people want to be either. I don't think you would want to be either. 
we don't want to be associated with Scientology. But when it comes to Tom and his latest controversies, he actually got in trouble because there was some audio leaked during the filming of one of his movies, Mission Impossible. And it was during the COVID times and he did not want to cancel the production. So he made very strict rules. And that's fine. I mean, that's how our world has changed. But he went off on people who broke those rules. I don't ever want to see it again. Ever. According to The Sun, the UK tabloid who leaked audio of Tom scolding staff members, the movie star lashed out on set again on Tuesday, raising tensions even higher on the Mission Impossible 7 set. That was a little bit too aggressive for my liking. He was literally yelling at them. And it just reminds me of how toxic movie sets are and Hollywood is because they don't have like an HR and people just like, you know, scream at each other. It's like, I could not handle that. I'm like, okay, I'm so sorry I broke the rules. I'd probably start crying. And some people actually quit over this. The second outburst reportedly led to five crew members resigning from the production with the source adding, quote, tension has been building for months and this was the final straw. How many meters is that? When people are standing around a computer and hanging out around here, what are you doing? I don't know how I would be able to handle Tom Cruise just going off on set, especially with him being such a huge celebrity. I mean, that just like, ugh, it just gives me bad vibes. But he's a producer, so he's trying to get his job done, and I guess I respect it. But there's something weird when it comes to Tom and his relationship with Scientology and his past relationships, because obviously he's just under some type of control or living this lifestyle, I guess. But I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Here is my email and if you want me to go deeper on some other topics a story about rob lowe a story about matt lol, lol, or just like something about scientology i mean there's a lot about scientology out there i remember watching the leah remini Sci scientology show that was on tv and it was so good but let's go ahead and open a p.o box package item this one is from genesis and it looks like they're located on the west coast and actually there's something on the front let's oh let's reveal it Ugh says, hello, I'm what you've been waiting for. <gasps> I'm scared. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Hi Sloan, I hope all is well. I really enjoy tuning into your channel. Keep up the good work. I hope you enjoy this gift from my shop, homemade by me. Take care, Jen. And it looks like the shop is called Jen Hooks It Up, which is cool. I'm gonna list that below. It's an Etsy, I like the name too. Also, I think, I'm thinking about, side note, I'm thinking about rebranding my name. So we're gonna try to drop the, the numbers. So it's just gonna be Sloan soon. So I just want you guys to know because you're gonna see some changes like across my social media. I think my Twitter's already changed, but we're trying to get the Instagram changed and the Facebook changed and then this channel is gonna be changed last but um, I'm just dropping the names because oh my gosh I oh my god I oh my gosh look at this I'm like gonna have so many beanie look at this <gasps> the color is so good wait with my eyes though also what do we think about removing the numbers are we okay with that we all agree it's cool because the numbers are confusing it confuses me too but oh my gosh I love this. Thank you so much. It's so well made and it's got like a thick like round part here, which is really nice. And then like, I love the label. It's like so professional. Wow, that is legit. You should definitely go and check out their shop. I'm gonna list it below and get yourself a beanie or something. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.